Hello, welcome to this zero edit video. I'm going to be teaching you how to create a keyboard profile using Inkscape. Uh, what we need to do is we need to create a keyboard profile for Affinity Designer. Um, and then once we have the file, we can then ship it into every single version of Inkscape that gets released. Um, the only problem is I don't have the information necessary to build an Affinity Designer keyboard uh, option, but you do, or at least I hope you do. And so if you follow these instructions, you will be able to build an Affinity Designer keyboard preference for Inkscape and then share it with us. And then we'll ship it to everybody else who uses Inkscape. Okay, so um, what is a keyboard pre preference? What you can see here, I'm just gonna zoom in, is the uh, welcome screen for Inkscape. This allows you to select a keyboard preference in this drop down, like this. And you'll see that we have options for Coral Draw, we have options for Macromedia Freehand, uh, options for Adobe Illustrator, but we don't have any options for Affinity Designer. Um, that's because I think people don't know how to make one. So let's make one. So let's just go through here. First of all, we open up Inkscape. The first thing we do is we don't draw anything. We just go Edit Preferences to get the preferences up. And then we can type in key for keyboard into the search, and it'll pull up these interfaces. We go to Interface Keyboard, and you'll see the first thing is we decide upon which profile we want, and then there is a set of shortcuts. So there are two different types of shortcuts. One is an action, which is the first tab for all of the usual shortcuts. These are things like quit should be control Q and shift V and things like that. And then there are a second set, which are called modifiers. And these are things like vertical panning, horizontal panning, when you're holding on the shift control and alt keys. Um, the first set of shortcuts, all you do is you select the action that you want you press the, the, the column next to the shortcut you want to edit. It shows you the text new accelerator and you type in whatever the new shortcut is. If there is an existing shortcut with the same uh, key com combination, it'll warn you and say, are you sure you want to do this? It'll reassign it. And then obviously if it's correct, you, you press yes. For modifiers, it's slightly different. You go in and you press the thing you want to modify, and there are buttons for Control, Shift, Alt, and Meta, and whether it's enabled or not. So you can actually disable it so it never happens at all. Now, once you have gone through and you've edited all of these things, that's, uh, that's good for you, right? So this now is your personal profile. But if you want to share it with other people or you want to move it to a different computer, you use this button here that says Export. Press Export and it says shortcuts.xml, right? You save that to your, to your computer somewhere. And now at this stage, you can actually just send me that file. You know, tell me that it's for Affinity Designer, but um, that's pretty much it. Uh, for those people who want to actually go the, the extra mile, you can open the XML in a text editor and you can change the keyboard name here uh, user shortcuts, and then save it again. It's just a text file. Um, and that what that will mean is you will be able to uh, put that XML file into your personal keyboard list, and it'll show up with, with the rest of them. Um, what I would will do with your XML file is I will uh, add it to Inkscape's repository, and then it'll get compiled into the next version of Inkscape, and then we'll ship it so that people who go to the welcome screen will have Affinity Designer or, or whatever tool you want. You want a Visio keyboard shortcuts page? That we can do that too. Um, and then the you know basically your work will be accessible to millions of Inkscape users. Anyway, if you're interested, please have a go. And uh, thank you for watching this video.